So with the wall tap, we worked on this very basic pattern of stabilizing the trunk, no movement between the pelvis and the rib cage, flexing through the hip, slight bend in the knee, mainly reaching your butt backward and then coming back up. And we worked on progressing the range of motion by moving farther and farther away from the wall, getting into deeper and deeper hip flexion. Once you've got that basic pattern and you can move through the hip joint without overextending your lower back or without flexing in the lower back, and you have the idea of what it feels like when it's right versus when it's wrong, then we can start to add load. So I've got a kettlebell here, 12 kilograms, pretty light. It doesn't matter how heavy it is. All that matters is we're just gonna add a little bit of external load to that same movement. Same exact setup, feet are gonna be hip width apart, which means the outside of my hips here are even with the outside of my feet. My toes are pointed straight forward, my feet are parallel to one another. If you look at the inside of my feet there, there are two parallel lines. I'm gonna do the exact same movement. I'm going to come back, bring my hips backward, slight bend in the knee. The only difference is I'm gonna be holding a weight. Now that I'm holding an external load, I can use this to my advantage to help me stabilize my upper back. So what I wanna do is by gripping the kettlebell here, I'm going to try to pull it apart and try to snap it like a pencil by externally rotating both my arms. What that does, if you can look at my upper back, is by doing that, I immediately retract my shoulder blades, bring them in and down, and create this extending force to stabilize my upper back. So that's my setup, feet are hip width apart, I'm squeezing my glutes, my belly is tight, my shoulders are back and down, I'm trying to break the handle of the kettlebell, chin is tucked, and then as I go down into this hinge, this Romanian deadlift, my knees can bend, but they cannot bend forward. If your knees start to bend forward, you're really doing a squat. We wanna make sure that this is a hinge and not a squat. So my knees can bend, but they can't go forward. My shoulders stay back, and I'm going as deep as I can into this without moving my back at all. Your goal in terms of range of motion is to be able to do this with a kettlebell and get all the way to the ground without having any forward movement of the knees. And then once you have that range of motion, then we're gonna start to add load. So if I can do that with a 12 kilogram kettlebell, then I can go to 16, then I can go to 24 and so on. And then we'll start to progress things by going to a one arm Romanian deadlift, which is exactly the same movement. I now have to stabilize rotationally. So I'm just holding the kettlebell in one hand. It's still in the middle of my body. I'm having to resist this twisting inward force on my shoulder and upper back, keep that stable and do the exact same movement, stabilizing rotationally, stabilizing side to side. Once you've got a really good handle on that and you can do that with the 24 kilogram kettlebell, then we're gonna progress to the single leg deadlift, which is the next video. Try this one out. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.